Yeah, that's strong, so that's basil. Okay, Katie, so three nice long breaths. the muscle groups and up into the cranium. Just working on the very top of the sacrum at first. Sweeping up and then gently pulling. And pulling up from the sides. virtue reality cards mm -hmm. yeah and your message for this week is peaceful so with great calm i observe the flow of my mind then welcome inner silence is that what you need do you feel <laughs> what's going on in your mind at the moment <laughs> no no i'm not quite peaceful everything's under control but yeah. feeling all right but yeah. i wouldn't say that's generally okay. me no but it's, it's really interesting. Obviously, there's all manner of positive cards yes. in here, you know. When clients come in, they pick one and then we put them on the shelf. And I like to think it resonates not just for you this week, but also for everyone else oh. that comes into the boffy and out from the boffy. Well, so that's wonderful. You get everyone else's and everyone else's gets a bit of peace for this one. Well. Perfect. perfect. Yeah? That's what we need. Hmm. A bit of calm. Now, essential oils for yeah. today. What's going on with you today? I have got meetings until seven o'clock with governor, with being a governor. The so rest of the day? From four till seven. And that's a three hour meeting. Yes. Okay, quite intensive. Yeah. Audit so Audit committee. Very right. So for that, you need to be focused, you need to be clear headed. Yes. Uh, maybe a good memory, because you're going to have to remember mm. pupils and previous meetings. Yes. And, yeah. Um, and obviously stay alert, despite having had a two hour <laughs> very peaceful relaxation. relaxation. So I need to sort of give you something that's going to be to clear, so I can be clear. clear. Yeah, yeah. Immediately springs to mind. Basil and rosemary. But uh, just in case you don't test positive for them, mm -hmm. we're going to put a few more in. Okay. To see. Yes, we know I'm awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like being awkward? Generally. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Not that I'm agreeing. Okay. So, before we do this, can you give me a... Yes. I'm going to try and put apart and hold really strong. So, in this hand, can you hold this one? Just touch it to you and hold yeah that's strong so that's basil you're not awkward and touch it to you and hold no or, or you're very good at what you do oh <laughs> okay <laughs> but you know it's all to do with me picking out things that i know from what you've said you're going to need but your body might go not today thanks yeah. maybe another day yeah so let's tr test another one and hold not completely happy. So that basil was definitely the strongest. And hold. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Patchouli. Oh, I've always, patchouli always comes up with me quite often. It has before, yeah. And hold. Oh, really strong. That's a nice mix. We've got lemon. <sighs> the only thing with lemon, being a really hot day, is if you're going to be outside at all. The flies? No. In fact, um, opposite it was, with flies. It was repelled. Yeah, the only problem with lemon is it's um, photosensitive. 
So once on the skin, if you expose your skin to the sun, you can pigment the skin, get those little brown patches. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be in a meeting room, so actually. You're not going to be outside? Not really, no. Yeah. But if you are going to expose, you just need to wash that bit of skin right. off. You know. No problem. Yeah. I won't be using it on your face. I'll use a different oil okay. on your face. Great. Okay. For that reason. So basil, patchouli and lemon, that's a nice mix. So you've got that clear headedness. Perfect. Yeah, basil is lovely for clear thinking and that getting rid of that foggy feeling. Yeah. I can't imagine you ever feel that. I do. I do. <laughs> Get days and you're just like, oh my goodness, there's a lot going on, right? Let's, and everything, nothing's getting finished. Oh. Don't like those days. No. Okay, so patchouli is a base note, so it's coming out more slowly. It's a nice thick oil. I'm going to put several drops in there because it is a full body massage. So there's a lot of carrier oil, an organic sunflower, and then the lemon, which is a top note, so highly volatile, which means it infuses into the air more easily. We tend to smell it first, and then basil. Um, it can be a middle or top note and it will hold the two together. In fact, patchouli will fix it and then the other two will sit on top. And it's really nice to have a top, middle and base note actually. It, it, it's just the way your body wanted it. I didn't know that was going to happen because we tested all sorts. Because then you've got a really nice mix and they, they're synergistic. Synergistic. They work together yeah. beautifully. Would you like to smell a little of this before I stop? Okay, so my hands might feel a bit chilly compared to your warm body. The oil going on, so we've got that patchouli, lemon and basil. basil. Yeah, sweet basil. So what can happen in summer is with our uh, skin can go dry, so it absorbs far more oil. We might need a little bit more oil than normal today. That's going in beautifully. So three nice long breaths. So this is your time. Allow your body, its weight, its whole presence to sink down deeply into the couch. Feel every muscle, every sinew and fascia, let go, release, in order that the effects of the massage work profoundly and long-lasting to every system of the body. Sometimes we, might, we find that our mind starts working while we're rested as it gives the mind a chance to catch up and that's fine and you will also at some point find yourself in a beautiful spot 
away from those thoughts, just drifting. And that is the time that we meet our consciousness, our deep inner being, allowing for good health, good repair, remedial assistance to help bring us back to a good equilibrium. So Katie, what um, type of massage would you like today? In the past we've done aromatherapy, which is more softer gently and working more on the lymph system, the immune system, or we can do a Swedish style massage, which is more deeper, faster, stronger, um, and also works on cellulite, etc. What would you prefer today? I think probably the Swedish one. Okay, be great. Let's do that. Isolating the scapula, tracing a line around the edge of the bone of the shoulder blade, creating nice, strong, rosy lines, which is what's needed to show that the circulation is getting through. Yeah, right up to the neck. That's good. to the trapezius, across the top line to the sternocleidomastoid of the neck, using two thumbs in a pushover petrissage move, looking for any knots, the knot right at the top by the neck is popping a little. I might bring in a couple of, of the soft silicone cups to help me deeply massage along the spine. Would that be okay? Yep. Have you used any of your cups that you took away last time? We have with Annabelle's leg, definitely. Yeah? It's been really good. Oh, good. And how is her leg? Much, much better. Yeah. Good. Yeah, those cups are really effective, aren't they? Mm. It's very like gentle as well. Yeah. I mean, you can govern how strong or gentle they are, can't you? Mm -hmm. right, by the, the squeeze of the cup. So when I come to do your facial later, um, you know it's a choice of facials and did you say you wanted facial cupping? No. Should I give you the choices again? Yes please. Yeah. So you've got um, the basic facial with the Tropic Skincare. Then we can add on to that um, the Gua Sha and the facial rollers, the Amethyst and Jade rollers. So that's the second stage. Or thirdly, we could, instead of using a tropic skincare mask, we can use a sheet mask. And again, while the mask is on, I'll be using the rollers and gua sha. Mm -hmm. um, or fourthly, we could use all of that, but also with the facial cupping. Mm. What do you fancy? Might as well go for all four. Okay. Try and get me looking even more useful. <laughs> You'll go out of here with a spring in your step. 25. Ready <laughs> for that three hour meeting. Exactly. <laughs> They'll be commenting how useful I look. <laughs> how plump and firm my skin. <laughs> Rather than my middle age, slight haggard look as usual. I doubt that. But yes, I can see, 
I can see them being stunned <laughs> by your beauty. Of course. Your radiance. Rather than my awkward questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, let it go, that's it. So loosening it off, giving it a good stretch. And let it go, lovely. That's it, see if I can isolate, bring my fingers underneath that wing. Pushing the toxins away over the shoulder towards the cervical lymph factory in the chest, getting them up and down over the front. Coming round to the other. And quite a difference in temperature, one shoulder to the other. Once the shoulder's been worked on, the blood comes to the area which brings the heat. This one's feeling nice and cool at the moment, but it will soon go warm. And again, just tracing that line, isolating the scapular edge. Using the fingers, but also the sides of the finger. Drawing that line, creating that rosiness and warmth. Just relax the shoulder down, that's it, yeah. Up and over. And then into top of the trapezius. This one feels a bit tighter than the left. Feels tighter too. Mm. It's sitting differently. Oh. You're right handed. Yes. Mm. Okay, I definitely need to get a little cup on there. So, Katie, part of the massage, you may remember, is the chest. Obviously, I would uh, stop the cameras at that point, but would you still like the chest done today? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. 
so just to equal up the shoulder effect I'm just bringing that warmth circulation and rosiness to the left side is it feeling different on this side yeah yeah I can feel the suction is less on this side just because that's what's it's not needed so much interesting not gripping you so tightly really good over the flat plate of the scapula because that's where toxins sit happily but there's, there's no movement there on that lovely flat plateau so I'm just getting them off the scapula as well moving them to the lymph node below the armpit there we are I'm just going to give them a little Packing and cupping. warm just working on the rest of that trapezius to the sternocleidomastoid sweeping up from the deltoid across the muscle groups and up into the cranium mm. still quite a lot of tension up there Picking up the muscle, bending it, creating some more length by giving it that bend. And then up the side of the neck to the occiput. Just 
just using the fingers, but also very strongly into the palms. And down a little of the arm, sides of the torso, and up. And then warming up the rest of the body before introducing some more lower percussion moves. Alternating whole hands. It's quite evident where I've been working already, as the area is really nice and warm up here. And fairly cool down here. And of course, on the sides of the body, there are many lymph nodes whose job it is to attract, store, and take away toxins and waste, dead cells, etc., that we no longer need. So the sides are important to push the massage towards. Well, the sides of the body also have a tendency sometimes to be a little bit ticklish. Whether that's to do with the nerve endings in those areas or whether it's the location of the pools of toxins in those lymph nodes, I'm not sure. And then strongly with thumbs at first, just thumb pads into the flat bone again, that plateau of the sacrum. Just working on the very top of the sacrum at first. And now an area that can be quite sensitive, the edges. And I know from core therapy, that the edges of the sacrum are where there may be some misalignment, some imbalance in the structure of the pelvis. And so this area can be quite sore, but by tracing a line around that edge, it helps to relieve any imbalance, not just physically, but also because it's a way of telling the body's subconscious, should there be any misalignment or pain there, that there is an issue and it needs to be resolved. So often, just by stimulating, agitating an issue, it can ask the subconsciousness to get on with healing it like we do with core therapy. Okay, now coming to the waist, splitting the hands, the fingers directly down and up, bringing fingers down, getting rid of that tightness, waist materials, the collect of the waist just below the kidneys, Right down to the couch. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of ringing at the sides to the muscle tissue, just the very top of the hips, the glute maxes, and the sides of the hip. up the fascia. Warming it ready for some stimulation. on the, on the uh, 
his sacrum as well. It's a nice feeling there. Bringing your leg out slightly, that's it, lovely. to 
ask gravity to help me clear any toxins in the V of the muscle of the soleus, main group of calf muscles, the gastrocnemius and the soleus, where there's a, a V. And when we upturn the leg, it helps to spin out the toxins that sit in that V, and that really helps with any tightness, pain and solidity of that calf muscle. Lovely. Down, anchor it back down, and then working on the Achilles. Too much. If you'd like to turn over or to back. And then I'll sort the 
head area. You might want to bring your legs out over to the, your left at the moment. You want to bring them to the middle and then rearrange your hips. Yeah, you feel a bit yeah. more aligned? Yeah. So I'm just going to put the face hole back in. If you could raise your head briefly. Also in the abdomen. And then strongly up each side of the shin bones, the tibia and fibula. And strongly on the top, but just with palms. Over the knee and then around it. Isolating the patella. Oh, a little bit sore? No, it just feels funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it just makes it no, kind of just a bit awkward. Okay. How was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Done. Done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no pain whatsoever. Mm. Just walk. <laughs> right. Okay, just an odd feeling. Yeah. Okay. To you so many times. Have you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's really. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> uh, but I will have to do the other one at okay. some point. Um, you'll have to steal yourself. I will. Yeah. It's really good to isolate the patella. Just make sure it's not stuck. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But you can't do it with someone whose knee is even slightly bent. It has to be a completely uh, straight yeah. and relaxed leg. And using the muscles, it just Freezes. So, working on the quads now. Up and over those lovely, strong muscles of the body. Which, interestingly, if there was an issue with the quad, it would affect the parietals, which are the bones in the very top of the cranium, the very top of the head at the crown. So in core therapy, when I'm checking for cranial balance, I check the quads to see if the parietals are okay. And I know that if someone holds a hand on their parietals, on the crown of their head, then the quads will go strong if they were previously weak. And then all I do is do some chicken with cranial balancing. 
on the pronotals, and then afterwards retest the quads, and they should be strong, showing that all is well. Quads and pronotals are behaving again. So just a little stimulation to the outside of the front of the thigh now, using a little hacking. using the sides of my hand more than the fingers. system, spine, and reflex terms, shoulder, lung, thyroid, scapula, neck. Oh, let's give the neck a little stretch. hold before coming off. more. 
and then into the knee, down each side, pushing to the back, to the lymph node behind the knee.
at first into what the abdomen is telling me. Whether there's any particularly heat or cool or any tightness or space. Okay, so starting off with a little circular motion using the lengths of my fingers up and round following the direction of the colon but actually working on the small intestine so coming down and round in a clockwise manner tummy is softening, feeling much better already. That's good. And pulling up from the sides. Bringing that fascia around to the front so that the numerous lymph nodes within the abdomen, the digestive system, can start filtering, eliminating any waste. Coming up this side to meet in the middle. And effleurage round. Reassuring this point here at the solar plexus, also called the AP, the anxiety point, to help calm any stress, any worries and concern, letting it absolve and go away. too dry and then clearing down again letting gravity work with me to clear the toxins from the auxiliary lymph node down and out past the armpit into 
cervical lymph factory. A little bit of percussion move to the side of the upper arm. Introducing some space and softness. Massaging strongly down the upper arm to the armpit. Going down inside the forearm, especially if we do a lot of work with our arms, whether it's at a computer or manually. Really nice feeling to clear those strong muscles there. Scooping 
bring it up, up to the armpit. sweep and 
the next stretch. Halfway. Okay. And go to the center. Good to take the eye pillow off that might feel a bit bright. Thank you. 
use the smoothing cleanser as rounded up.
It's a good fit. Reaching every part of my hips.
rise over the brow line. I'm going to do a little more over the decollete to the neck, going up the jawline to the chin, alternating jade to amethyst. Upwards. with strong thumbs, thumb pads, big fingers anchoring, working upwards towards the face, bringing the scalp forward in lines, starting in the center, slowly working our way forwards down. And then into the scalp. 
some gentle hair pulling just round the edge of the scalp at first. Relieving any tension in the scalp. Reminding the scalp to let go and relax.
gua sha into the scalp. Stimulating the blood flow. that go on inside. <clears throat> so the neural system, brain, glandular system, of which there are many contained in the head, the circulation, the immune system, Muscles, fascia, the skeletal system, but so good for brain function. That feeling of just knowing, having clarity, focus, good memory. Just working with the amethyst gua sha, the cooling manner to cool down the face, the skin, allow the skin to relax, allow the moisture and all the goodness and nutrients from the face mask to take effect. Starting off with the decollete and coming out nice and gently, stimulating the lymph node first of all and then clearing. These are all really key acupressure points in the chest that we worked on earlier, but also these are an area of NLRP's neuro. Of the neck 
and then down the sides and to the jaw. Boosting. Just doing one more. I can see it's a little pale. Good. And now working into brown coming, stimulating this area, which can be susceptible to lines, although I can't particularly see any here. Just making sure. To the eyes to help the upper eyelid to stay strong and elastic, and then the lower eye just underneath. Again, helping reduce any tension. See to dark circles, any wrinkles or lines that may appear underneath. That's looking good. And then over the lips, just adding a little oil. And then to the upper lip, first of all, just flash cupping. moving cup in and the cups are holding really well that's a good sign Skin is looking at 
absolutely radiant. It looks glowing, plump and beautiful even skin tone. Just circling around the eyes, ready for a little skin cream, the eye cream, massaging a little into the face. Releasing the cheekbones, the zygomatic bone, into the TMJ, the temporal mandibular joint, down into the jaw, chin, and then some acupressure points working on the main occiput line, stimulating to the jaw. Of the lips, sides of the mouth, and then to tooth line beside the mouth. Gently each side of the nose, clearing sinuses. Yeah. 
moving into shoulders, maybe knees and hips. And then when you're ready, bring your arms up over your head for a nice long body stretch. Opening your eyes when you're ready to. Lovely, good, thank you, my pleasure. As you liked it, so good, good. So I'm going to leave you to get dressed. There's an absolute no rush. If you've got plenty of time, brilliant.